Say, I'm the sweeter one. I usually will just chill in your lap. All right. Mm. What is that? <laughs> um, we came out here today to donate um, animal oxygen masks in honor of Jessica Stone, who saved a dog last year, a little Rambo, from a house fire. Um, she actually used a, an infant oxygen mask. Um, none of the fire departments here have uh, animal oxygen masks um, in all of Lee County and Russell County. And this is just one set of many we hope to, to donate. Um, we had attended a mutual aid fire call with Ladonia Fire Department. Um, we did our initial search and rescue and knocked the fire down. And we were informed that there was a dog in the residence. Found him in the back bedroom underneath the bed. He wasn't moving a whole lot and had already regurgitated. And we just got him out and got him on oxygen and he was good to go. About five minutes after oxygen and some water and he was running around and playing. Yeah, I'm extremely excited that we got these donated to us. It'll help us in the long run uh, making sure pets pull through without, with the proper equipment that we didn't have before. They donated three sizes for us, a large, a medium, and a small, so we can do all breeds as well as cats, and they did say we can use it on some birds as well. And could you describe for me how it works as far as you know? Um, as far as I'm aware, um, it's just like the human oxygen mask that we use, you just place it over the pet's nose and it pushes oxygen into their system. We're at the point where we need to give the pet oxygen, they're not going to be running around and playing, they're going to be lethargic or unconscious, so it shouldn't be an issue for us placing it on their noses. They're under $100 um, and it may not be just a dollar amount, it's, um, the, it's getting them on the truck so we can save lives because you can't put a dollar amount on an animal.